Hi everyone, welcome back to another flashlight video. Uh, today, uh, bright night, very kind to send us out here the HC01 Noctua headlamp, which you see before you. And this headlamp's got some pretty cool features and pretty unique features I haven't seen in some other headlamps. So we're going to go through all the specs and details really fast. Going to try to make this video kind of short because I know some of you guys don't really like long videos. So we'll try to get all the information about this headlamp in there as quickly as possible so you guys can make a really good, informed, and educated decision as to whether you want to get one of these for yourself. Um, so real quick, save time. I uh, went ahead and laid everything out and get in the box here. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and take a look, at, real quick look at the box here. So Bright Night HC01 Noctua. It's got three lighting sources on the headlamp. Not really much to see on the back and the sides of the box. But... Uh, Go ahead and put that back here. Now this is a USB-C rechargeable headlamp. So you do get a USB-C cable. Um, you also get their 2023 product catalog. Just so you know, any links and all that will be in the description um, to their website as well as the, the headlamp here you see before you. You also get a warranty card. Okay, so you can register your headlamp. And you also get the user manual. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the user manual on screen so you guys can check that out. You can pause it or take a snapshot on your device. So first part is the first side of the user manual. So that's what you're seeing on the screen now. And now we'll go ahead to the second side of the user manual. So you should be seeing that on the screen now. So again, if you need to take more information, you pause it or take a snapshot and you can check all that out. We'll start going through the specs real fast here to get moving along. So again, like I said, you have uh, three LEDs in this headlamp. You got the main LED capable of up to a thousand lumens. You have an auxiliary white LED and an auxiliary red LED. This has a patented head strap rotary knob design. And you can see it's pretty compact, but this will come out. I'll put it on screen here. Um, you can see how the, the head strap will come out and then you can easily uh, go ahead and stow it back to where it was. So they call this an encasable head strap. So it makes it really easy for, uh, you know, carrying it with you or storing it, uh, putting it in a backpack or a bag or putting it in a drawer so you don't have this big mess. It's really easy to stow away, which is a really cool feature, which I have not seen in any other headlamps yet. So that's pretty neat. Um, you do have an adjustable head here. So 360 degrees. All the way around you can hear that little clicking noise so you got that uh, pretty neat so you can adjust it to wherever you need really easily and it does hold in place pretty well um, it is USB-C type-c recharging so let me go ahead and show that to you here you have this little port here in the bottom and you can see that there for the USB-C charging and uh, let's see here, you do have um, you do have a battery indicator uh, on this headlamp. It's a four light power indicator. I'll put it on screen here, but real quick. So if you have four green lights, your battery is between 75 and 100%. Um, three green lights, battery is between 50 and 75%. Two green lights, battery is between 25 and 50%. And if you see a red LED, your battery is somewhere between 1% and 25%. You probably want to recharge or replace the batteries. Now, speaking of the batteries, this does have a 1,200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. I'll go ahead and have this on screen here for you. But you could also use three AAA batteries. They're not as recommended as using the lithium ion battery. Obviously, you're probably going to get the full output of this headlamp with the lithium ion battery that's included with the headlamp. But if you needed to, you could replace it with three AAA batteries if need so. Okay. This does have electronic temperature control. In other words, it's going to step down if it gets hot to protect the flashlight from damage. Um, like I told you, you have a white auxiliary LED. Uh, for, and they say this is for close range lighting, like reading and etc. Um, you also have the red auxiliary light and that's for protecting your vision at night. You know, a lot of the military, they'll use red um, lights at night to protect their night vision. Um, so their eyes can easily adjust to the dark and it doesn't mess up your vision at night because it takes a while for your eyes obviously uh, to acclimate to the lower light uh, environments. 
This is IP66 waterproof. And this, this is also one meter impact resistant, and it does have a lockout function, which we'll go over in the UI. So let's talk about the specs in this headlamp, and I'll go ahead and put the chart here on the screen for you guys to so make it easy to follow along. All right, we're talking about the main LED here, the main white LED. You have low 10 lumens for 45 hours, so really good runtime there. Mid 105 lumens for 5.6 hours. High 450 lumens for 2.1 hours. Turbo, 1,000 lumens for an hour and 25 minutes. Remember, it does have uh, electronic temperature control, so most likely it's going to step down. Um, strobe, 450 lumens, no runtime given. SOS, 105 lumens, no runtime given. And there is no signal on the main white LED. All right, auxiliary white LED. You got two modes here. You got low, 15 lumens for 7.83 hours. And you have high 60 lumens for two and a half hours. And no special modes on the auxiliary white LED. And then you have the red auxiliary LED. And again, you have two main lighting modes, uh, low 10 lumens, 11.6 hours, high 30 lumens, three and a half hours. And you have what they call signal. Now signal is just basically the red LED flashing. Um, so that's uh, 20 lumens and can run up to six and a half hours. So that is the specs as far as lighting outputs and run times on the Bright Night HC01. So real quick, let's me uh, get ready here and we'll transfer over to the, the UI. All right, the user interface on the Bright Night HC01 headlamp here. So you got two switches here. You have the main switch and what they would call the auxiliary switch here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the UI here. To turn the main LED on, you're gonna hit the main switch once, and to turn it off, you just press it again. Now to switch through the different modes, you go ahead and click it on, and you're gonna go ahead and hold it down, and you're gonna cycle through, it's already in low, but you're gonna to go to mid, high, and in turbo, and then back to low. And let's just see if it has memory. So we'll turn it off, turn it back on. It does have memory. So we'll go back to low here. Now this is a, to go straight into turbo, if you wanted to do that, you can do that from on or off. So from off or on, you just double click and you go straight into turbo, which is a thousand lumens. So really nice there. Click it again, it's just gonna turn off because if you turn it back on, it does remember turbo. So you just hold it down to go back to low and turn it off again. All right, so to get into the special modes for the main LED, which does have strobe and SOS, and this is a strobe warning for everyone, so just be aware here. Um, gonna go ahead and, and you can do this from on or off. So we're gonna do this from off here. So we're gonna triple click, and we're in a strobe. And strobe is again at 450 lumens, still really, really bright. We will be taking this outside and doing beam shots. And triple click again. You're going to go into SOS. And if you click it again, it just turns off. Click it back on and goes back to its last mode it was in, which for us was low. So very easy to use there. Now you can see the LEDs here are showing you the battery indicator. It's really nice. Right now we're showing four LEDs, which means between 75 and 100 percent on the battery. So very nice there. Let's go ahead and turn that off. To turn on the auxiliary uh, lights, let me zoom back out there. So you press the auxiliary switch. Uh, you can go into red, and if you hold it down, you'll cycle between high and low, high and low. And if you double click, you go into auxiliary white. Same thing, hold the button down, you cycle between low and high, low and high. Now from either the white auxiliary LED or if you're in the red auxiliary LED, if you double click, you switch between the two. So double click. Now if you wanted to turn on, let's see if I'm in, there we go, we're back to low. If you need to turn on the signal light, you're gonna triple click. And I think you can do that from off too. So let's triple click from off. My cat is annoyed that she's locked out of the room right now. So sorry about that guys. So click it again, turns off, goes back to normal mode. You can also do this 
Let's, let's do it from the white LED. So if you triple click with a white auxiliary LED, you'll also go instantly into the auxiliary red signaling. So very nice, very simple UI, which is great. You don't want to have it overly complicated, especially if you're out in the woods or hiking or, or doing things like this. You want something fairly simple to operate, but has uh, a lot of nice features. And so this Bright Night HC01 uh, headlamp so it has some really nice features. We will be taking this out here in the dark uh, to test how it is at night with the beam shots. Um, real quick here, I did need to mention this. It is fairly comfortable. This strap is really comfortable, um, but I did have an issue um, when you have this on your head. These do kind of bite into your head a little bit. It's not terrible, but I wanted to mention it just a little bit. So some of you, they, you may not like that. I don't know. You might be able to put a little cloth or something over this. I'm not sure why they didn't put some padding on this because it can dig into your, your head a little bit. I mean, it's not overly annoying when I put it on, but if I had to wear it for, I don't know, a long time, an hour or two hours, it might become a bit of annoyance, uh, annoying to you. It might bother you uh, for extended use. So I just wanted to share that and keep that in mind. Um, I, I just try to be as honest as I can with my reviews. I try to give you all the information you can to make a, an informed decision. Um, but uh, if I see an issue or something, I, I'm, I'm going to bring it up. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. But with that said, let's go ahead and take the HC01 outside and see how it does in the dark. Okay, real quick, before we go outside to the he the uh, beam shots, just wanted to, I forgot to mention the lockout feature here. So to do the lockout feature, you just simply hold down the main switch and the auxiliary switch for a few moments. Light is going to flash, let you know it's in lockout. If you click one of the buttons again, it's just going to show the LEDs for the power indicator, letting you know it's in lockout. And to simply undo that, you just press both switches again. The light was going to flash twice, and then you're, you're back out of lockout. So with that said, let's go ahead and take it outside and see how it performs in the dark. All right, it's finally night here, and we are outside here with the Bright Night HC01 headlamp. And right now I am wearing it on my head, so I'll go ahead and start out in low with the main white LED. And we'll move up from there. And so this is uh, 10 lumens. You can just see the bird bath over there. Um, that bird bath is probably about 25 to 30 feet away. Um, definitely, this 10 lumens is definitely good. Um, I do like that you can adjust it very easily so if you need a little bit more angle down when you're walking around you can if you need a little more out in front you can you can just you can just see this tree stump out there and um, that tree stump is probably 100 feet away from where i'm sitting right now but i have it angled down a little bit more see a nice kind of a hot spot there is some spill it's not picking it up on the camera but it is definitely there um, again very nice I am wearing this on my head right now. That, that part I told you about with the two pieces of plastic kind of sticking your head a little bit, not really bothering me. I think for short periods of time, you'll be just fine. I think if you wore it maybe for a longer periods of time, it might bother some people more. Um, so just FYI there. But anyway, let's, uh, let's bump up the next one, which is gonna be um, mid, 105 lumens. So now it's definitely lighting up everything really, really well. I'm gonna angle the camera up a bit more. You just see that tree stump out there. I'm um, getting 105 lumens doing really well. Definitely walk around and pretty much see everything you need. It's got great runtime, five and a half, 5.6 hours. So really good there. Let's bump it up again, 450 lumens. 450 lumens, really lighten up pretty much everything. So let's see here. Uh, turbo. This is turbo, really, really bright. Um, thousand lumens, definitely lighten up everything really, really well. I'll take a walk out there without trying to disturb the neighbors too much. And on the way back, I'll uh, go ahead and turn on the auxiliary lights. Um, so the red and the uh, white auxiliary lights. And so let me take a walk out there.
All right, sorry about my shed light there. Probably messed up a little bit, but hopefully you got to see that. That was going through the auxiliary white and red, and I also did the, uh, what do they call it, yeah, the signal mode for the red light, which is just flashes. So now I'm gonna go ahead, so I'm sitting back down here. I'm gonna go back to the uh, auxiliary. This is the red, I think that's low. I think you can just see a little bit on the camera there. It's, Kind of hard to see, but it's there. Let me see if I can bump that up a little bit. So yeah, that's definitely that's definitely pretty useful. I mean, I can see pretty close around me uh, with their red LED uh, auxiliary on high, which is uh, 30 lumens. So let's go ahead and switch over to the white one. And let's see if that's low or high. That was high, so this is low. And again, I think this would be good for reading. I mean, yeah, definitely be good for reading. Um, so 10 lumens on low for the auxiliary. I'm sorry, 15 lumens low on for the auxiliary white. And if you bump it up, goes to 60 lumens. So let's do that now. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's nice, a nice flood beam, but you can see everything really well. Um, so that actually, that's actually pretty useful for walking around outside, guys. So that's, that's pretty good. I, I actually like that. Uh, let's bump it back down to the low mode and low mode again is 15 lumens and so 15 lumens 7.83 hours and when we were in high let's go back to high for a second that is uh two and a half hours of runtime but again really really useful it's got a nice floodlight i mean you can walk around pretty good with that so pretty impressed with that Go back to the main LED. We'll bump it up to 105 lumens. So, really, really good. Definitely making out that tree stump out there. Very nice headlamp. I really like how easy it is to recoil the headband so you can easily pack this in a bag or put it in your pocket or something or backpack or, or whatever. So, that's really, really nice. Um, I do really like it's USB C rechargeable. So, uh, Overall, pretty impressed with this. Uh, really impressed with the uh, red and auxiliary uh, white lights, um, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of surprising to me. I, I wouldn't think I'd be as impressed with those, but they were pretty impressive. Uh, very useful. A lot of times I find the low modes on flashlights uh, more useful than sometimes the high modes because, one, they run longer, and a lot of times I don't need tons and tons of light for different things I'm doing. So, actually, sometimes the lower modes are... are more interesting to me than the higher modes so anyway i want to say a big thank you out to bright night uh once again for sending me out the hc01 headlamp to review here on the channel for you guys and any links or coupons will be in the description so be sure to check those out so again thanks guys so much for watching you guys take care and we'll see you in the next video and happy lumens